Good morning church. Hope you are doing well this morning. Uh, my name's Helen and I am part of the creative department at church. Um, so yeah, busy, busy year for us. Um, today for our devotion, um, we're going to be looking at a verse that I really like. It's called, it's Isaiah 40, 31. And I'm just going to read it to you now. It says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So I don't know about you, but I think we all, particularly this year and last year, hit moments where we really, we need that verse to be true. We're like, oh, I need to renew my strength. You know, I, I am running, I am walking, and I am feeling exhausted. Um, I think often for many of us, this last season has felt really like a kind of marathon, except you don't know when the end's gonna come. It's like this, you know, ongoing um, struggle and change and dealing with all kind of different circumstances that we didn't know we were gonna have to deal with. Um, and I don't know about you, but I can often feel like in that run up, when you know you've got a break coming, um, you can just feel like, right, I've just got to put one step, one foot in front of the other to get to this next break, to get to this next holiday. Um, so I can recharge, I can get a rest, I can refocus and then I can be ready to go again. Um, and I love a good holiday. So our, our family is quite international. We've got relatives in Israel and America and South Africa, friends in France and all over the all over the world, really, which is awesome. So we do love to travel. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I, I think you can go through thinking, oh, if I just get to this one thing or this one perfect trip, then I'll be okay. But actually, when you look at this verse, what it doesn't say is those who have really good holidays will renew their strength. And neither does it say those who have a weekly massage and meditate for four hours will renew their strength, does it? It doesn't say any of those things. It says those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Um, and I was thinking about hope and thinking that like it's like one of those nice fuzzy words isn't it that you put up on your wall or you have it on a t-shirt and you think oh hope it's a lovely thing but actually hope can be a beast because hope means that you don't have it yet you know whatever the thing is that you're desperate for or that you need whether it's your healing or breakthrough or whatever the thing you're hoping for is the thing that you don't have um, so you know, it is hope means that you're still in that place of hanging on, of praying, of working hard, of seeking God, of risking disappointment. So hope isn't this warm and fuzzy thing. Um, hope can be really hard. And um, keeping our hope in God is really the only way to be secure and the only way that we're going to keep going is to have him as our hope. Um, and the next thing I thought about with this verse, the next thing that jumps out to, to me is again something that it doesn't say. Um, so if we go back to it, it says, it says those that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So again, I was thinking about what does it not say? And the thing it doesn't say is those who pace themselves will renew their strength. Or it doesn't say those who back out so that they don't get too tired or don't commit so that they're not overstretched will renew their strength. Um, yeah, so I think, I don't want to be too controversial, but um, I do think maybe in the, especially coming out of the pandemic, like I just wonder to ask the question of have we like developed a bit of a cultural norm around you know, oh, I'll not overcommit, I better have a night off, I better just stay and net watch Netflix, you know, I've got to do some self, self-care, self and not that any of those things are bad, and I'm not endorsing, you know, being a complete workaholic, um, or, you know, never taking time, it is important to take time, but I think maybe we just have to be aware um, of that kind of cultural thing that's coming at us from the world of, like, it's all about you basically and that you are the most important and you fulfilling your own needs and making sure you're just right and not risking being overtired or whatever is the most um, important thing because actually I don't think that is what this verse is saying to us it's saying run and don't be weary walk and don't faint um, 
so yeah, I just think there's so many amazing things, isn't there, to do and to experience. There's so much that God has got for us to do and, you know, even just fun things that he's got lined up for us or, you know, amazing challenges that he's got for our lives and, and the purposes and the plans that he has that we can potentially miss out on if we're afraid of like, oh, what if we get tired or what if we're worn out? Um, and I personally, my experience is that sometimes when I push into a stretch and when I push into something um, that is maybe in that moment beyond me a little bit, that is when I that is when I grow in God. That's when I grow in myself, um, and that is when I find my purpose sometimes in Him. And please, like, balance what I'm saying. Like, I'm not I'm not saying, you know, completely overwork yourself. But I'm saying let's not be afraid of um, of stretching sometimes. Let's not be afraid of getting a little bit tired sometimes, because that's where the grace is. That's where He will give us the grace to keep running and not grow weary. And when we're in the centre of what he is calling us to do, um, then I think we can risk it. We can risk sometimes being a bit tired or we can risk that we might have to have a few days to recover um, after really stretching and really pushing into something. So that's my, my challenge today is really like grab hold of life, make the most of it, run into the purposes that God's got for you and um, go for it. Have a great day.